Hi everybody! Today I bring a very simple and fun project about mirror writing, which was very frequently used by one of the best artists of all time, Leonardo da Vinci. So if you are ready, let's get started! All right, let's begin uh, by deleting the cut and adding a sprite, which is gonna be a simple circle. Basically, we're only going to make one circle and once this is finished, we're gonna duplicate it. Okay, that's fine, make sure you center it. I'm not gonna change the name, it could be sprite one because we only have two sprites, sprite one and sprite two. So let's go to the code First of all, we have to make the circle follow the mouse pointer, which is something we've done in other tutorials, and you know it's quite easy. When green flag clicked, forever, go to mouse pointer, and that's done. And we want that when we click, when mouse is down, we can paint, paint but when mouse is up, we cannot paint. For that, we need this extension, the pen, and remember, in this case, pen down means the pen is touching the paper, so if we move the sprite, whose pen is down, the sprite paints on the, on the stage, but if pen is up, it doesn't paint. So I'm going to add here an if-then-else block, and we will say if mouse down pen down, else, pen up, and it's that simple. Keep in mind that if you try here, which is the editing section, if I try this, what I'm actually doing is move uh, the sprite, okay? I'm changing the position of the sprite. So to try this, you see that I have like painted uh, two small lines. To try this actually works, you have to go to full screen, and here you can see that this works very well. If I stop pressing, if I release the, the mouse, now I can move it and it doesn't paint, now it paints again. So it's that simple. Uh, it would be interesting that when we click on green flag, we clean the, the screen. So let's add this at the beginning, erase all, so that when we click on green flag, we clean the screen. So this is done and now we need the other sprite. So, right click, duplicate, here I have it, but obviously the second sprite is not gonna go to mouse pointer, so let's get rid of it and add this. Go to X, Y, and put here back again, and now let's configure it. As you've seen at the beginning of the video, the vertical position of the, of the second sprite, the one I'm not controlling, is the same as, as my sprite. So here, in the second sprite, the Y position is gonna be the mouse Y. And with that, you see that uh, it is. But it's not moving uh, horizontally for the moment. Let me go to backdrops and add a backdrop to explain one thing with the XY grid. All right, so here is the one I control. If the one I control is here, the other one has to be in the opposite X. So if this is negative 100, the other one should be in 100. If my uh, sprite, is sprite number one, is here, the other one, obviously, is gonna be at an uh, Y of 100, but the X is gonna be here. Okay, same distance to the to the center, to the to the central vertical line, and this is negative 50, the x, I mean, okay, it's negative 50, so this is 50. So as you see, basically it's the opposite. To get the opposite of mouse x, we basically have to multiply by negative 1. So the mouse x is going to be mouse x multiplied by negative one, and as you see, we did it. Okay, that works perfectly. Let's go to full screen, now let's paint, and as you see, 
that works very well. If I pass here, it passes as well. So super simple. Okay, one interesting thing, one interesting improvement that you can add to this project is controlling the, the pen size in the game. So let me go to sprite one. Here in pen, we have set pen size two. I'm gonna put it inside the forever loop so that we can control it constantly. And uh, I'm gonna create a variable which will be pen size. This variable with right click, I'm gonna turn it into a slider. And with right click again, I'm gonna change the slider range from one to 10, I think that's reasonable. So the minimum is one, the maximum is 10. And this, this pen size is always going to be set to uh, this variable, to the value of this variable. And do not forget to put this here as well. So it is set pen size to pen size. And now, well, let me remove this backdrop because that's not necessary anymore. And let's see. Now pen size is one. If I change this, pen size changes. And this is the project, guys. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things that you could do with this project, which are very fun. One is write your name. I am going to write my name on the left side. And as I write it, you see that on the right side, it is written, but, uh, but like flipped horizontally. Okay, it's mirror writing, basically. Well, this is quite easy, but now I'm gonna try to write my name on the right side, but written backwards, and on the left side, it should be written normally. So let's see. You see the uh, where my mouse pointer is? So you now see that I'm controlling the, the right sprite, the sprite on the right. I've practiced this several times, so the result should be quite decent. Okay, that's, fin that's finished. So that's one option. Another option is what I'm going to do now. In this case, I'm going to draw. Okay, you can draw. Obviously, I only have to draw half of the face because the other half is gonna be drawn automatically. Let's make the eyes here. Well, and this is the program, guys. As you see, there are many things that you can do if you are an imaginative person. So I leave it here and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.